meats and cheeses to have it bagged and ready for you when you get there. The General Store on 24 is located on Route 24 in Lewis. All right, here we go, 746. Jess, you got a new email in for question of the day. Hey, Bill and Jess. Hope you guys can help me out with some advice here. Here's the situation. My husband and I got married nine months ago. Okay. And we Congratulations. Together, yeah, for eight years. So oh, that's wow. huge, yes. right? Together eight years, finally get married. Absolutely. So nine months into the marriage. Well, we have not gone on a honeymoon yet. Okay. All right? Because of, like, finances right now. Understandable. Now, his business partner and friend advised him that there's a business opportunity abroad. And I was like, hmm, this could be like a cool little honeymoon location. And so he booked it and it did happen last minute. And he said that he's going to Asia and it's about 18 hours away. Well, I mentioned that I might come along and do like a yoga retreat. And since I've always wanted to do this for the past 10 years, well, he said, can we fly out on separate days? What? Exactly. That was the first thing. Okay. Um, then fly out on separate days. Yeah. What? Yeah. Can we fly out on separate days not to stay or meet up with him as he will be embarrassed that I'm flying out and doing this? What? Exactly. And I'm asking him like, well, what are you going to be doing like during your spare time? He may be doing island hopping, he says with his friend. And I'm like. Okay, but this is like an affordable way because like your trip's going to be paid for. We just have to pay for one person. This is an affordable way for you to do business, but also I can be there at the same time and on the free time. Hold we can, on. We can like hang out. Say less. All I have to say about that I is. No, I know, but I want to give you the details. What? So she called him out on it and said that it was unfair and he called her jealous and disrespectful. Now, this is going to be the second trip. That he has done, like a business trip. This will be the second one. What? I know. So he says that he has to go there with his friend. He has to complete some business transactions. And, like, he may go to some restaurants and lounges and to safaris, etc. But he doesn't want me to go. Says he'll be embarrassed. And even when he entertained it, he said, we'll fly out on separate days and we don't need to, like, meet up. What? Are you married? Are you married or no? Wait. So what's the deal? Wait. I would be excited if I had a business trip paid for. And this is like an opportunity where you just have to pay for one person and go. Who's the business partner? I don't have the details on that. I don't. I was thinking that's this, what we need to know. I was thinking the same thing. Like, is this another this female partner? Is it a male, a female? What's his business and all that? I don't have the details on that. I don't know. But I was curious. No matter what, it's something. Something doesn't connect, right? Something just something with my big gut doesn't feeling connect. is like, how are you going to be embarrassed? And why like wouldn't you want her to that, go? Like you're with you. I mean, that would be a you're perfect opportunity. And you're gonna even entertain it and say, "Well, we can fly out on separate days and not even meet up when we're there." Yeah, something. Then what would be the point? You nah, know, something, something's up. But he's telling her that she's being jealous and disrespectful. Mm, really? No. That's gaslighting. Trying to make her feel oh, like Jessica she's calling doing you gaslighting. <laughs> Jessica saying you gaslight. I'm, I'm reading through this. I'm like, wait, you've been together <laughs> eight years. Now you're married. Married nine months. The opportunity for a honeymoon is not there financially. Okay. Well, now if you can financially make something happen, why not? 302-858-5117. I would be excited. I would. But no, he's embarrassed and says, well, we can fly out on separate days and not meet up. Courtney texted in, begin the process of separating yourself from this man financially if possible. File, file for annulment. Wow. An annulment. He's either on the DL, a bigamist, or using you for your financial resources to entertain his woman. Get yourself an exit plan because this isn't going to go very well and you've already wasted enough time. Wow. Already like that. 
Uh, let's see. Jamie texted him. Whatever he's up to, he does not want to spend his time or money towards you. And he's embarrassed by you. He doesn't seem uh, to like you very much. So why would you even want him? It's not like he has money to comfort you through his bullish. Pepper says, sounds like he has someone else. Tiffany says, I hope you get to meet your husband's other wife and family. Maybe you'll oh, meet his husband instead. snap. See? Two people said he could be uh, on the DL or something. Uh, Monica texted in. So go ahead and fly separately and make your own plans. Be sure to have his itinerary when you go there. You might want to consider a surprise. A surprise. Yeah. Don't forget to take pictures. You need it for the divorce. Wow. Kenya says, why did you marry this man? He's weird. It doesn't seem like he likes you or excited about marrying you. Um, let's see. Um, Capricia says, I'm sorry, sis, but his, quote, friend sounds like another woman that he's traveling with, SMH. The business partner? Yeah. Oh. My man, Lauren. Mm -hmm. What up? If he's flying to Asia to close business deals and is not responsible enough to afford a honeymoon, something ain't right. Uh, Candy says, let that man explore the world with his family. Oh, yeah. Shantae says, girl. This is messed up. Let that man be with his boyfriend. The third person who said that. Wow, could be something. But then why wouldn't he just open up and just be honest? Terry. Why? Sounds like your new husband's having an affair. Sounds like he's gaslighting. <laughs> Come Just on. like Jess said, sounds Just like you up. already Just know. Honest. Good luck. 302-858-5117. You ever been through anything like this? Question of the day, 753. The Bill and Jessica Show.